Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back. Today I want to show you some war attacks. I want to recap this war right here. So we were doing pretty good in this war. We had three three stars, so we knew we were going to win. And I sort of played around with spell composition. You guys may remember, back in the Goiwi days, two rage spells and three free spells was a pretty popular spell composition. Nowadays, it doesn't get used so much, so I wanted to try it again. Now I wasn't using Goiwi, you'll see in a minute. I was using... Golems, Valkyries, one P.E.K.K.A., some Wizards, a real mix of troops. It's basically a go wipe army, but just light on the P.E.K.K.A.s, because P.E.K.K.A.s are not all that reliable anymore, really due to the Skeleton Trap. The Skeleton Trap can totally nerf P.E.K.K.A.s in, a, in an instant. So anyway, back to the raid here. I had to use a Lava Hound to lure the Clan Castle. It looked like a hard Clan Castle to lure. I knew the Lava Hound would do it. Turns out, there's a Lava Hound in this guy's Clan Castle. So, I'm not going to be able to kill it easily like I normally do. What I'm going to do here is, uh, I've had this happen to me before. I've had Lava Hounds coming out of the clan castle. I found the only way to kill it properly is just to overwhelm it. Just start your raid, throw everything you've got right at that uh, Lava Hound. And that's what I'm doing here. I got my Archer Queen on it, which is one of the best ways to kill it and the Lava Pups. And then I've got, you know, my side golems down, my middle golem down, my wizards down. Everything's down right now. So we're going to get charging into the base. Looks like the Lava Hound is taken out and all the Lava Pups are taken out as well. Here's the first spell. That is to get into that core. I got a free spell on a Tesla, Archer Queen, and the Inferno, and an Expo. That's a good use of that free spell. I was able to use uh, free several defenses, and you always want to think about that when using your free spell. Probably the best use of a free spell is to freeze a level 40 Archer Queen, because she can devastate your army, depending on what you have. If that Archer Queen locks onto your Archer Queen or your Barb King, she's going to wreck you. So there we go. We just tore through that base, especially through the core, the center there. But we're only at 40%. What? This was a, a pretty decent layout. So at this point, you know, I'm sort of struggling for 50%. Uh, it's pretty obvious I should be able to get it, but uh, it's pretty pretty good base design. If I had had a jump spell... I would have been much better off. I could have jumped out of the core, and uh, it would have been, in my opinion, a better use of that fifth spell. Now, when I say fifth spell, I mean, typically, in a raid like this, you're going to have two rage and two freeze spells. There's one spell left over. You can use a lightning spell, a another rage spell, another freeze spell, or a jump spell. Really, I still think a jump spell is the best option if you're going for a three-star or a really serious raid. Now that's with a golem based army. If you're talking about an air army, there's a lot of other options. Probably a rage spell is the best with an air army, but we will talk about that in the next Clan Wars video we do. Right now, let's check on my other attack where again, I did two rage spells and three freeze spells. Uh, this attack didn't go quite as well in my opinion, uh, you'll see why in a moment. I only got 50% and that's usually not a good sign, that usually means you just barely clutched it. but. 50% 2 stars is the same as 99% 2 stars. It's all the same in the end. So here we go. We're luring the clan castle. This time not with a lava hound. We were able to use some balloons. That's really my favorite way to lure because you get to take out a defense. At least one defense. There we took out just one defense. It was a cannon I believe. But hey, it's better than nothing. Here we go. We're going to drop the uh, witches, wizards, and a valkyrie. I love valkyries lately. It's really something I'm trying to integrate into every army I use. Not farming armies, but clan wars armies. Valks are awesome. So here we go. We got one Valk out there. It helped kill that clan castle really well. Now what I'm going to do here is, since I don't have a lightning spell, and I'm not going to lure the rest of this clan castle, I'm going to drop a golem here with uh, a bunch of wizards and my, you know, that one valkyrie. They should go in there and kill the rest of that clan castle. Now up here is my main army. There's not much to this army. It's, uh, what do we got? Two golems up here, a couple wizards, my heroes, and a few Valkyries. So really, we're going to rely on perfect spell placement here to even get the Town Hall. This is going to be close. Now, I do have some wall breakers. They will help. Uh, we're now broken open every wall required, and we have so many free spells, we can just keep everything frozen here. That's the only good thing about this three freeze spell composition. You can just freeze everything for, you know, each max freeze is eight seconds. So that's a long time of freezing. And, you know, as long as you hit the key defenses, like Teslas and Infernos, those are really the worst ones, you should get the two star. But as you can see, it wasn't really an overwhelming setup. You know, I didn't really smash this base by any means. So I think this is really an outdated uh, spell composition, to say the least. 
Um, I was, you know, I was certainly wondering what was going to happen as I hadn't used the three freeze in quite a while. I see people attack me with it occasionally and it, you know, it works okay for them. But uh, I certainly don't think it's a three star setup. Now, as I said earlier, if we're talking about an air army, I think um, having two rage three freeze is possible and I'm definitely going to try that soon. Uh, one bonus raid I want to show you guys right now is one of the three stars from this video, uh, this uh, war. Let's check it out. It's uh, down here somewhere. Uh, those were both from D's. Those were great raids, but this was my favorite here. So recently, guys, I've shown you this Hog Rider Valkyrie strategy from uh, my clanmate Mavios. And here we go. He's using it in Clan Wars. He found the perfect base to hit it up with. Uh, this is just a you know funny base. This guy's got all his defenses outside. He's basically counting on somebody to, I guess, just one star him and miss the town hall. Well, that's probably not going to happen with Mavios and his 30 hog riders. He is going to take out every defense on this base. You'll notice he hasn't dropped a spell at all yet. Uh, there goes his Barb King ability. That's helping clear out that clan castle troops. But his hogs are looking great and he has still not dropped a single spell. There goes the first one starting to heal up the hogs. They are bunched up there and all getting that heal spell quite well. The only danger here is there's a dragon down here sort of hammering on his troops. They don't seem to mind. I mean, I think the Barb King is going to get killed by that dragon. But he's already halfway through this base. He's just wrecking it. Okay, so here we go. He's on the second Inferno. It is down. He's got a lot of hogs left. Um, he's got backup troops coming behind, mostly those Valkyries. Check out those Valkyries. They are nasty. They're, they're doing pretty good, and they've got Wizards behind them and a level 40 Arch Queen. Now, how the Hogs doing? Looks like there's still plenty of Hogs left. Um, that was the last heal spell right there, and that's it. Now, he's only got a few defenses left, and then he's got to get in that core and get the Town Hall. He's probably going to have like a 98% one star until the very end. Town Hall is probably going to be the last thing he gets. So, look at this. You know, powerful army. He's still got Valkyries left. Several Valkyries. I think he started out with seven Valkyries. Looks like he has at least four there still. So, great army. Oh, there's a bomb, but it didn't even touch him. Those Valks are still almost full health. He had a few wall breakers in reserve there, was able to blow open the core almost. Now he just has to break like one wall. And as I said, he got a 98% one star right now, soon to be three star. So great raid, Mavios. Uh, some traps are going to blow <laughs> blow up there, but not really do much to him because he had so much power still remaining. Archer Queen didn't even really get touched there. Incredible raid. 28 hogs, 7 Valkyries. That's the... The meat of this army, uh, three heal spells, one rage, one freeze. Excellent army. I've tried it out. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this yet, go through my recent videos and check it out. Hog Valkyrie strategy. It is awesome. All right, guys. So that is it for today. If you like this video, leave me a like and a comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. All right. Thanks, guys. I had a lot of fun today, and I will see you next time. Peace.